Yeah, hi, it's uh, Thaddeus Lonia here. I'm in the McMichael Gallery installing an exhibition, Extended Vision, which has been organized by the Canadian Museum of Contemporary Photography. And it spans about 25 years of my uh, photographic activity. Uh, I'm standing in front of a wall of photographs that was uh, made in the 1970s, and the subject is people and their cars. Uh, at least on the surface, that's what it is. When you first come to this work, I think the first thing that you notice, it's a long rectangular um, print and that stems from the fact that I work with a 7 by 17 inch banquet camera made in the 1920s and that camera yields a negative that is incredibly detailed and rich in information and that's what's kept me working in that format for 20-30 years. Uh, I guess I'm holding one of those negatives. Uh, early on when I first started working in this medium, I used just pieces of photographic paper and exposed them and then when they were printed, they were just negative prints and then in order to make the positive prints that you see behind me, I would just lay this negative down on another piece of photographic paper, shine light through it and have a positive. What I've got here is a 1926 Fulmer & Schwing banquet camera, which is the camera that I used for about 20 years until I had a new one made for myself. Uh, this camera takes a 7x17 7 17 inch format film holder, which slides into the back and the film is held in place. And uh, then the photograph is made by exposing uh, the light through the lens. And here is the negative we were looking at earlier that this camera yields. Well, here I'm standing in front of a body of color work that was made in Jollicure, New Brunswick over about a four-year period, and it's entitled Jollicure Pond. Uh, the Jollicure Pond series was a body of work that was made on, on an inspiration from a response that my kids had. I had been traveling to the American Southwest for a number of years, and I tried to take one of my children with me every time I went and so the dinner table conversation was oh where are we going next who gets to go and I s responded to that by saying we live in one of the greatest places in the world and depending on how you look at it it can be as exotic as the Grand Canyon so in order to prove that I had to make a body of work that reflected that notion and so this series of photographs of which there are six in this exhibition but in fact uh, when they were exhibited at the Jane Corkin Gallery we were 18 uh, are photographs made off of my deck. I'm standing in front of a photograph from the series St. John's Wide Views. Uh, I've worked in Newfoundland and specifically St. John's since 1981. Uh, this particular image shows off a dry dock situation uh, that was, uh, the photograph was made from kind of high vantage point and you've got the city unfolding behind it. Uh, during the 19, late 1980s, early 1990s, the St. John City took over a very large area that was uh, basically empty when the uh, railway in St. John, in Newfoundland was uh, closed down. So what they had to do was find a, something to do with that area and so they decided to put a dry dock right in downtown St. John's. Uh, I enjoy that kind of blend of industrial and uh, commercial along with uh, people living in amongst all of that. Uh, this exhibition has been on the road for about three years. It started at the Canadian Museum of Contemporary Photography in Ottawa and did a bit of a tour out west and then it was in the Maritimes last year and in Quebec and here it is at the McMichael Gallery and uh, it's going to be here from uh, January 20th until April the 1st.